This feature is how to make better model railroad layout videos. We spend a lot of time making our layouts as realistic as possible. One thing that's overlooked in our videos and photos is keeping all the unartful distractions out of the camera's view. This is the same scene without the portable scene extender. The fascia board is a mere two inches from the base of the signal bridge. A lot of our following construction in visual form is self-explanatory. The mini captions help, too. So we'll muse a bit on some thoughts of our hobby along the way. There was no way to shoot a scene here without fascia boards ruining the illusion. Watch how this simple solution can open up many more shooting opportunities for you. This simple lightweight extender is made from the Owens Corning Dense Pink Foam. I bought a 4x8 foot sheet of 2 inch thick material. The finished extender is only 3 pounds in weight. I can make a lot of these portable seams from one sheet. This one has a second layer thickness on both ends, like pillows on a bed. They represent hills that make a seam view block on the left and right side of the seam when you pan the camera in an approximate 60 degree arc. So my problem was that shooting video had many restrictions of scene composition if I desired to keep unwanted items out of the scene. Things like the edges of the layout, land's end you might say. Also ceiling lights, a nearby door, wall light switches, wall decorations, or the fascia board near the tracks on the layout edges, things like that. I devised this portable scene extender to block the view of the fascia board where the track is close to it. This is only a few pounds of weight. It can rest on a simple second tripod to make it level with the track and at the right height to create the illusion of it belonging there. I bonded the layers to form the hills on the ends with liquid nails. These canisters fit in a standard caulk gun. This product was the best glue or bonding agent for this and many other materials. It is very inexpensive. I also smear it all over the assembled work to form a tough skin that protects the foam. The liquid nails has a light sandstone color when it cures. Sunlight speeds the curing. The next day I painted it all with latex paint that has the color of dirt out in the wild around here. I also paint my fascia board with it so it tends to blend in a little. The idea of the hill bumps on the ends is to help hide the fact that the extender is only 44 inches in total width. The gap between the hills is about 32 inches. This allows around 60 degrees of panning without unwanted things coming into view. The camera should be on a primary, better tripod that has a smooth, fluid head if you like panning your shots and steady, non-wobbly video. Simple photos can be handheld. Add all the scenic materials you normally use, such as grass, bushes, and maybe small trees. Don't overdo the trees. They try to steal the scene. I considered a flatter, center area with an orchard of young fruit trees. I can always make more of these and perhaps even a wider 48-inch version. 